and hello once again YouTube this is Mia your daily broadcaster signing back in to give you the latest news and updates on blockchain today now for this video guys we'll talk about three um, articles featuring our favorite altcoins but before we go there I would just like to invite you all to join us with this new initiative Q program here now guys initiative Q is an attempt by ex PayPal guys to create a new payment system instead of the existing old credit card system that was designed way back in the 1950s. Now, the system uses its own currency called the Q and to get people to start using the system once it's ready, they are allocating Qs for free to people like you who sign up now. Now, the amount drops later as more and more people join, so it's better for you to join now while it's free and it's still early now signing up to initiative Q is completely free and they only ask for your name and an email address there's nothing to lose but if this payment system becomes a world leading payment method your queues can be worth a lot so guys if you missed getting Bitcoin seven years ago you would not want to miss this one now here is your special limited invite link in the description below now the link shown will stop working once we are out of free invites so guys click it now and don't get left behind on this one and join us with this new initiative Q program alright so moving forward guys let's go to the articles um, featuring our favorite altcoins now let's start with the first one which is this yo yo or YOYO, -Yo, an attractive short-term acquisition target, here are 10 reasons why. Now, YOYO -Yo is a clever acronym for your own, your own words. YOYO -Yo trades under the ticker symbol YOYO. The concept behind YOYO -Yo is simple, you own what you create. The content a user creates deserves to be rewarded. What makes YoYo -Yo a unique acquisition target, especially during this week's correction, are multiple things. One, confirmation speeds of 3 seconds compared to Bitcoin's 10 minutes. Two, processing capaci capacity of more than 3,000 transactions per second. Third, the first blockchain authorization login. Fourth, network governance for token holders. Fifth, the total circulating supply is equal to the total supply. Sixth, this means all coins are in circulation and the team is unlikely to be able to dump onto the market during major price shifts. Seventh, the market cap is under $7.5 million and is traded on top three exchanges. Eighth, 2008 third quarter the apps were integrated ninth 2008 fourth quarter token feature optimization authorization feature lockup feature and dividend and tenth 2019 first quarter enable content rewards right now there are almost 10 reasons that make yo yo a short-term acquisition target as they roll out their concept, content rewards at the beginning of next quarter. Confirmation speeds of just 3 seconds means your cryptocurrency can be sent anywhere and received before a sentence can be completed. Being able to process 3,000 transactions per second means it's a payment for content provider they will be, able, they will be well ahead of the curve. YoYo -Yo intends to be the first blockchain with authorization login. This feature will separate YoYo -Yo from the majority of other similar content platforms. Those who hold tokens of any cryptocurrency appreciate being able to help govern the platform. This is implemented for YoYo -Yo imminently. The market cap of YoYo -Yo being under 7.5 million dollars makes it a ripe target for rapid rapid growth as any substantial news or meeting of deadlines will push the market cap in exponentially higher even though 
even through the bear market, YoYo continued to integrate the apps while building out their reward and incentive platforms. This quarter has the implan implantation of many YoYo's coin features. This includes their authorization feature, lockup feature, dividend, and governance. Conclusion It does not appear that either Bitcoin Cash fork added any value to the cryptocurrency space, but instead created a 48-hour correction. Due to their lack of adding real value or utility, both Bitcoin Cash forks should be avoided. YoYo is a project that deserves the attention being diverted to unnecessary forks and market corrections. Look for YoYo to outperform during any rebound the next few days and the possible upcoming bull run. Alright, so that was it. Now let's go to the second article. Major Venezuelan Department Store Chains Accept Cryptocurrency. Here. Now the people of Venezuela had been forced to cope with an increasingly difficult economic situation in recent years. This has led to a loss of trust in government-issued fiat by the population in any way that many believe exemplifies the need for cryptocurrency. This may account for why a major Venezuelan department store chain accepts cryptocurrency, something which is a rarity to see in more prospering economies. Tracky accepts cryptocurrency payments. Tracky is a large chain of department stores operating in Venezuela for over 30 years. It encompasses 49 branches in many major cities across the country, selling everything from fashion to food and cookware. According to its public profiles on social media, the company has opened up to transactions with digital assets since at least October. Tracky accepts payment in a number of popular cryptocurrencies including Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Core, Dash, Ethereum, and Litecoin. So this is a tweet here. Tracky, there. Then show of support by crypto community. Due largely to government policies, exacerbated by a fall in revenue from oil exports, the economy in Venezuela has been in a sharp decline for years. Infl inflation in the country is expected to reach over 1 million percent by the end of 2018 and consumer prices are projected to a rise by another 10 million percent in 2019 according to recent data from the International Monetary Fund. Now, the situation in Venezuela has pushed many in the crypto community to try and promote digital assets as a solution to the problem unabated fiat printing has caused. A number of charities have also formed such as the IT BCH initiative, which we recently reported on. On Friday, we received another example of cryptocurrency being used for good in Venezuela as a Reddit user spoke of buying over 800 items at Shaki with donated Bitcoin Core. She showed a video of herself buying clothing and school supplies with the funds that will be gifted to kids in need. So guys, is the economic situation in Venezuela likely to convince more people in the country to turn to cryptocurrency? Share your thoughts in our comment section below. Now let's go to the third article. Monero and Song Crypto Developer Wins Prestigious Award. There. Now. Professor Joseph Liu received an award at the end of October 2018 from the Australian Computer Society or ACS, recognizing his recent achievements with the title ICT Researcher of the Year. 
you is the creator and developer or development leader of the ring signature algorithm a crucial technology used in Monero which he initially conceived of and published in a paper on 2004 according to a quote published on Lu's official website he says that he is honored to receive the ICT Researcher of the Year Award or winner given by the Australian Computer Society or ACS, the largest professional body in Australia representing the ICT sector. The XMR connection. Now Ring City, or as it is colloquially known, has since become most famous due to its implementation within Monero, the most well-known anonymity-centric cryptocurrency. Elsewhere on his website, Liu calls, recalls discovering that his discovery had been applied within Monero without recognition. Quoting, I googled application of thinkable li ring signature suddenly came up the word Monero. By then, I know this cryptocurrency, now this crypto cryptocurrency is ranked number 10, deploys my PhD thesis as their core technology, or they call it Ring City. They didn't tell me, didn't acknowledge me, and of course, didn't give me any award, end quote. At present, Monero is the 10th largest cryptocurrency with a 1.4 billion market cap. Now, it has also featured or regularly on the trade recommendation series at CCN, sister site hack.com, most recently on November 10. Joseph Liu, Academia and HCash. Joseph Liu, or Professor Liu is currently a senior lecturer at Monash University in Australia, a role which will escalate to an associate professor position in January 2019. Liu had been performing roles in research and academia since 2004 with a wide portfolio of publications under his belt has already stated that he has put his role in the development of Monero tech in the past and is now working on a crypto project called HCash. Quoting, I have nothing affiliated to Monero. Currently, I'm working towards a new cryptocurrency, HCash, cash instead, end quote. HCash hails itself as a parallel dual chain ecosystem with post-quantum signature technology. It is comprised of three components, namely HyperCash, HCash, Cash, and HyperExchange. The former in the name for the title are Dual Change, Dual Token Network or Ecosystem. HCash is the name for the platform's decentralized and open source cross-platform cryptocurrency, whilst the latter describes a cross-chain transactional exchange featuring an array of smart contracts. Each cash and regulation. Interestingly, each cash claims to be based in both China and Australia. This brings up a number of questions because Australia is considered a comparatively liberal economic regulator of cryptocurrency companies and ICOs. In fact, it has been recognized as having a comparatively rocketing growth of cryptocurrencies by the likes of Accenture. China, in contrast, has featured in the news widely due to the strict nature of its policies on cryptocurrency in general. So much that the number of cryptocurrency companies in the likes of Singapore completely overshadow those of its Asian counterpart due to its status as a crypto haven. The same goes for Hong Kong and Taiwan. Now about the awards and ACS. Here. The ACS Digital Distribution Award 2018 is the latest of an annual 
event recognizing the achievements of various individuals and organizations across the nation of Australia. According to its Facebook page, ACS is the Professional Association for Australia's Information and Communication Technology or ICT sector and was founded in January 1966. Recent accomplishments of note including joining the World Economic Forum in September 2018. Now, a large team of judges presided over the ceremony, among them many prestigious names. Steve Godby acted as chief judge, who is better known for his current professional position as leader, as leader of IBM CIO team in Australia and for passing 35 years in international experience. Meanwhile, the chief data scientist for the NSW government and CEO of the NSW Data Analytics Center, Ian Opperman, served as deputy chief judge. All right, guys, so that was um, for the articles featuring our favorite altcoins. Now, if you have opinions regarding uh, these articles, uh, please comment or share your opinions on our comment section below. And also, guys, we would like to invite you all to subscribe to our newsletter, which you'll be receiving a day ahead of our broadcast on YouTube simply by going to the website preferredcurrency.news here. Now, once you are in the website, all you have to do is go down and click on the link PayPal where you can pay 15 US dollars per month on a recurring basis or you can also pay at Coinbase for only 180 dollars per year with your favorite crypto handled by Coinbase and after you do that you start to receive our newsletter 12 hours ahead of our broadcast here on YouTube alright guys now all of the information provided in this video is for your news review and educational entertainment only, not financial advices. Now here you see we are not financial advisors and we highly recommend that you do your own research regarding all of the information we provided for you to make decisions for yourself. Now this channel and the website PreferredCurrency.news is simply a gathering of the rumors and research available online each day. Alright guys, so that was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and if you like this one, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates. This is once again Mia, your daily YouTube broadcaster signing off and I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>